Okay, so we are on. Hello, hello. Oh, I want to go back. Hello, everyone. So uh, we've already been uh, chatting in the um, live chat. Uh, so good to see all of you guys in there. Hello, good morning. It's Friday. It's the last day of this week, and uh, we're going to have uh, lots of fun today. Um, so yes, we have been trapped, stuck at home all week, and uh, we will also have to be uh, staying at home next week too, and oh, another three weeks. Don't worry, I'm going to be here every day, Monday to Friday, so we're going to continue next week with lots of fun. Uh, but yeah, today it's, uh, I'm calling it Super Friday, uh, because I think it's going to be super. Um, we have a very interesting uh, story activity for later today, and uh, it's a story where you guys are going to choose uh, what happens as we go through the story, uh, there'll be choices and you're going to decide, are we going to go this way or are we going to go this way with the story? So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but for the first part today, um, first, uh, first notice, uh, a few students in the live chat saying today they're having problems getting into our Google Classroom. Um, so Abigail, I mean... I, you're already in the Google Classroom. Your account is there. Um, so um, you're trying to log in uh, this morning but can't get in. Uh, I will look into that problem um, this afternoon after we do the live stream. Um, so I don't know why that's not working, uh, but uh, it should. Uh, so I will look into that uh, later, okay? Um, so now I guess... You guys, you're all at home. You've been at home all week. And um, you're going to have to stay at home for a few more weeks. So I thought today we would leave Hong Kong. We are going to get out of Hong Kong. Yes, that's right. We're going we're gonna to fly away. We're going to get out of Hong Kong. And we're going to see the world. Okay? And uh, we're going to be doing that on Google Earth. And uh, I'm going to be showing you a few things uh, that you can do in Google Earth, uh, which maybe, uh, you know, after the live stream today or, you know, at the weekend or next week, you can get on Google Earth and do some fun stuff. But first, um, if we're thinking about leaving Hong Kong and going to different countries, um, just while we're waiting for uh, more students to join in, um, I have here... Um, a little uh, little quiz for you, okay? You can see we've got four flags at the top. Uh, obviously, the first one's China, and then we've got this uh, this kind of red and yellowy one. Then we've got the white with the, the red circle. And, uh, of course, we have this uh, green, white, and red uh, for... Well, which country is that? And we've got some questions. So, uh, question one, what's the name of the country? Well, we've got China. What about this one, this one, this one? And we've got some other questions. Uh, which word is rhyming with the country's name? And we can see down here we've got plain, finer, man, and wittily. And uh, we've got uh, two other questions. What's the popular sport? Sorry, guys, that's my spelling mistake there. Oh, dear. Uh, popular is not spelt like that. There's no R here. Uh, what's the popular sport in this country? Uh, and we've got uh, table tennis, bullfighting, Formula One, and sumo wrestling. And uh, what's the famous food from this country? And uh, I just need to move my mouse so we can uh, see the choices there. Sushi, pasta, paella, and dumpling, or dumplings. So, um, if you know any of the answers to any of those questions, of course, you can pop it into the live chat. So first of all, what's the name of the country? So we've got China. What's the name of this country? Okay, let's uh, see if any of you guys can uh, tell us in the live chat. Uh, okay. And 
Excellent. Yes, good morning to uh, everyone else who's uh, just arriving. Um, so who have we got in? Uh, Alpha, Joseph, Owen's in, and uh, Heidi and Bianca. Um, I was emailing you uh, this morning. Uh, glad that you got the problem fixed with uh, Google Classroom. Uh, Tony's in, and uh, who else is in uh, who haven't uh, I said hello to yet? Uh, Anissa, uh, Chauci, Chloe's in, and... Okay. All right, we've got the word Spain, and... Uh, oh, Anissa Kwong says, I like Japan. All right, well, let's have a look. Uh, so that's Spain, what are, and we've got, of course, uh, Japan is the, uh, the flag for Japan. There is the, uh, the white background with the red circle. And um, the fourth one, yes, uh, Oscar's got that. Italy, that's the Italian flag, um, that green, white, and red. Okay, so um, which word is rhyming? with the country's name. Well, let's see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got... Uh, so we've got plain, obviously rhymes with Spain. And man, obviously uh, rhymes with Japan. And wittily, Italy. Okay. Oh, we've got a few more people joining uh, the live stream. Uh, hello to uh, who have we got? Um, Ma Yun Ching. Hello. Oh, and uh, Oscar's getting all the answers here. So dumplings in China, paella in pasta. Oscar, do you know um, what's in paella? If you if you know what uh, ingredients uh, are in paella, let us all know in the uh, live chat. And yes, of course, Japan is famous for sushi and Italy for pizza. And I like all that food. And you know what? I, I, I haven't had any breakfast this morning, so I'm, I'm going to start getting hungry thinking about this food. Okay, now Isabel saying, when are we starting? Okay, we are starting uh, very soon. Um, let's just whiz through these uh, two other questions. The popular sports... So, what's the popular sport in China? What's the popular sport in China? Oh, and Oscar says uh, he knows uh, about the uh, ingredients for paella. So, what's in paella, Oscar? Let us know. And uh, while we're uh, just looking at the live chat, oh, I've got my, uh, <coughs> excuse me, cup of tea. Mmm. Maven and uh, Malvina said, we just made some Chinese dumplings this morning. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, were, they, uh, were they nice? Making dumplings is, uh, it takes a lot of time, doesn't it? With the, you've got like the skins, like the, the circular, the skin, and you put the meat and the, the veggies, you, you mash it all up, you put them in. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, it takes a long time, but they are uh, very quick to eat, yeah? Okay, oh, I've got a uh, message from Chloe saying uh, there is a restriction between the school account and your your own account. Okay, all right, I will, uh, I will look into that, see what's happening. Okay. Okay, Abigail, she says she likes to eat dumplings too. And uh, Isabel had dumplings last night. Okay, yes, Chloe, uh, thank you for that message. I will uh, I will have to contact the school and see if they have, uh, what they have done. Um, sometimes they might have, uh, you know, they might have changed some, uh, some setting or something. So uh, make sure that uh, everyone can get into my uh, Google Classrooms. All right. Anyway, uh, now, just the last one, question four on here. What's the famous... Oh, we've got the foods. The, the popular sports, uh, question three. Uh, obviously, China is famous for table tennis. And uh, Spain, what do they like to do in Spain? It's bullfighting. Ooh, scary stuff. And uh, sumo wrestling, of course, in Japan. 
those big guys trying to push each other over. And uh, the Italians, well, they, uh, they have a very famous car, the Ferrari, and uh, they love Formula One. Okay. Oh, Bertrand is saying he had dumplings uh, last night too. Oh, everyone had dumplings. Okay. So, oh, look, um, Oscar is putting in the live chat for paella to make the Spanish dish of paella. You need 350 grams of rice, two tablespoons of olive oil, 18, 18 prawns, very specific, three tomatoes, four cloves of garlic, three strands of saffron. Ooh, what is saffron? It's some kind of flavour, isn't it? Um, I think. Uh, 500 millilitres of fish stock, uh, and that's how you make paella. Wow, you sound like you could be a, uh, a chef, Oscar. All right, now let's get started. So first thing we're going to do today, we're going to come out of here, and we're going to Google Earth. Okay, now, I know uh, you probably already know about Google Earth and you, you've, you've been on it. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things on it and we're going to go and see some interesting places now. Um, so, uh, later today or whenever, you can get on Google Earth anytime. Just Google, just google.com Earth or Google Earth. Find it in the, um, on the internet. And if you uh, are going to launch Earth... And, ooh, here it is. And while we're waiting for that to load, I'll have a little bit of tea. <coughs> so, now you can go anywhere on Earth with Google Earth. And that's good for us when we are here at home and we can't really go out. And uh, if we have a look here... Uh, this looks like uh, Hong Kong, doesn't it? Uh, let's just uh, zoom in. Oh, there's Macau over there. Okay. There we go. Ooh. And uh, we'll just drag that along over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's Lantau. And uh, this is Hong Kong Island down here. Yeah. And uh, we'll be coming, uh, we'll be going right into Hong Kong a little bit later. But first of all, uh, one thing I want to show you on uh, Google Earth, which is quite interesting. If you, um, if you go here to this kind of, like, it's like a ship wheel or something, and it's Voyager. And if you click on that, uh, it takes you to uh, lots of uh, interesting stuff. And you can actually learn uh, loads of things. And uh, you might think uh, for the younger students, uh, the parents might think, oh, well, this looks a bit too much difficult for, uh, for, for the younger students. Well, if you go into education here, um, when you scroll down, you might find something very uh, interesting, uh, which is this, reading the ABCs from space. Ooh, let's have a look. And this is going to take us on a journey all around the world. Oh, my screen's gone blank. Okay, there we go. It says start exploring. So we're going to see uh, if we can find some, uh, some of the letters of the alphabet. Oh, what's this? And that, that's A. Really? That's like my handwriting, actually. Very bad. Um, let's see if they've got B. And where, where, where is it? Uh, oh. Let's, uh, let's have a look at B. We're going to come out of there. And... Ah, yeah, there we go. There's a, there's a B. We can uh, see that quite clearly. The uh, B here, there's the, the stroke down, and there's the little kind of circle there. Ooh, and uh, you can actually uh, click on and see, uh, well, where is this? Let's go down. It's, uh, 
it's oh it's in uh, Arkansas which is uh, it's in America isn't it yeah okay so well um, let's uh, let's pick another letter uh, should we uh, should we um, I'm gonna go with M uh, that's my name starts with M so uh, where's M oh it's coming out and we are going to Kyr Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, that's kind of Russia, isn't it? And M, oh, there we go, there is an M. Ooh. So you can have a look at the alphabet uh, with, uh, from space, that's uh, something interesting you can do, guys. And uh, you can see that there's loads of interesting things you can learn about things all around the world um, in Voyager. So, check that out uh, if you're bored later. All right, now, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you to my hometown back in the UK, okay? And uh, see here, this is my hometown. It's called Burntwood. <coughs> and it's a very small place, a very small town. It's in the middle of uh, England in the UK. And, uh, well... Let's go and have a look and see what it looks like. And off we go. Oh, and uh, there we are. So there's Burntwood. I'm just looking at the live chat and uh, Oscar's saying he's going to send me a picture of how to make paella in our Google Classroom. That's great. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, and uh, and he's, uh, oh, he's saying in the live chat, my parents don't allow me to download boring stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I hope this is not too boring for you. Now, so here we are. This is my hometown, Burntwood. Now, as, as the name <laughs> Burntwood sounds, says. There's not much there. It's quite small, and uh, let's uh, let's just uh, go in 3D and have a look. And uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask me about my hometown, you can of course uh, get in the live chat and ask me a question. So let's uh, let's move in. Ooh, so this is Burntwood. You can see here. And you see, it's uh, it's very green around uh, the town. It's a very very small town, and uh, I think uh, that was my old school here. But uh, yeah, if you have a question, you practice your English questions. Uh, you can ask me. Where is your house? Okay, can you show us? Okay, um, I, th I will try and. Uh, find my my old house because I, I don't live there uh, anymore uh, so let's see um, now then. hang on da, 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 da. I think my oh Burntwood Park oh it's uh, it's up here that was my school my high school was here there we go and my house was about uh, about here. It was very close to the school, somewhere down there. I think that's right. But uh, yeah, I don't, obviously don't live there now. I'm living in Hong Kong. Okay, let's have a look at the live chat. Any more questions? Um, any direct flight? <clears throat> There's no direct flights to my hometown. My hometown is very small, actually. It's um, I think there's uh, about 26,000 people, 26,000 people, and uh, so Hong Kong has, what, 7 million people, so that's very different, yeah? Okay. Now, so that's, uh, that's where I'm from. And uh, yeah, ask me some questions. I'll try and answer them. But uh, what I want to do now is find out where you guys are in Hong Kong. So let's come back to Hong Kong 
and uh, you can uh, maybe tell us where you are and we can come and have a look at the area where you live now. Okay, let's just check the live chat before we go any further. And Abigail's asking, so, so you could walk to and from school by foot? Yes, yes, I uh, used to take uh, a few minutes uh, to, get to, uh, to get to school. So uh, it was very, very handy, very convenient. Okay. Oh, uh, Oscar on the live chat is just saying he has already sent the picture on how to make paella uh, to the Google Classroom. Thank you, um, Oscar. We'll look at that uh, a little bit later. Uh, Clovis is asking me, okay, so for Burntwood, my hometown, um, where, where is the airport? The nearest airport is about, about 30 kilometres away uh, in, in the big city of Birmingham. Oh, and uh, Anissa Kwong says, I'm in Chai Wan. Chai Wan. Okay, well, let's go. And, oh, Owen is in Chai Wan too. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go to Chai Wan. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go to Chai, Chai Wan, Hong Kong. Okay, let's have a look. Let's fly back to Hong Kong. And it says Chai Wan. Uh, formerly known as Sai Wan, lies at the east end of the urban area of Hong Kong Island, next to Shao Ke Wan. Ooh, okay, well, let's have a look. So, um, tell us, if you're living in Chai Wan, uh, oh, we can see there's lots of schools here, there's a park. Uh, is it a nice place? Is it a fun place to live? There we go, let's just come out a little bit. And there's a hospital, there's a college here. Oh, there's a sports ground over here, that's nice. And there's a, oh, there's a school here. Okay, so this is Chai Wan, okay. Oh, uh, Fortress Hill, Tin House, South Horizons, oh, there's, oh, you're all over the place, Happy Valley. Okay, let me uh, take us to, oh, Huixing Mansion, okay, all right. Okay, let's go to Bertrand. Bertrand, we are coming to you in Fortress Hill. So, let's search for Fortress Hill, Hong Kong. Okay, let's move over. And Bertrand, can you tell us in the live chat, can you tell us anything about Fortress Hill? Oh, there we go. Lots of high, high buildings there in Fortress Hill. Let me just come out of that a little bit. So let me just go back into the live chat. See what people are saying, okay. Okay, JC saying Taiku. Oh, Andrea's in. Hello, Andrea. Causeway Bay. Okay. Ah, okay, so uh, it's Anissa Kwong. That's Jaden from 4C. Okay, Jaden. So good to see you in. Happy Valley. A few people in Happy Valley. Okay, well, guys, in the live chat, can you tell me, um, like, what's the best thing about uh, where you live? Tell me one thing that's really good about it. Uh, I'm here in uh, actually in Wan Chai in Hong Kong, and I, I, I love Wan Chai because um, if I need to go and buy anything or go to the shops or do anything, everything's very close. And uh, <clears throat> the MTR's close by, we've got the trams uh, close by. So it's a very, very convenient uh, place to live. What about where you live? Now, let's go, Abigail is in South Horizons, okay, uh, where is that exactly? Let's uh, have a look, South Horizons, 
Hong Kong. Oh, and we're moving over. Oh, there we go. Down by the sea. So, uh, Abigail, what's the best thing about South Horizons? Looks very nice with the uh, Aberdeen Harbour just here. Oh, and you've got uh, school over here. All right. Looks very nice down there. Okay, I'm just going back into the live chat to see what people are saying. Oh, Matt says uh, he likes where he lives because he can eat. Oh, he's got the, the rice ball and sushi and ice cream. Oh, and uh, Chan Jing Lai from 6B has said, uh, I have found my home in Google Earth. Fantastic. Yeah, you can look. It's great, isn't it, Google Earth? You can find where you live. You can just go and find any places in the world. Uh, it's really, really nice. Now then. So, guys, that is Google Earth. You can have, uh, if you're stuck at home, you can have a lot of fun with that. Uh, and, yeah, remember, this uh, Voyager if you click on that, you can just scroll down and uh, there's loads of interesting stuff. Um, and you can see at the top that you can choose different types of things, education, travel, culture, nature, and uh, things like that. And you can find out all about different places around the world. And you can go there using Google Earth. Oh, this is a nice one, the uh, Uluru in Australia. It's an amazing place. I really want to go there one day. Okay, guys, so enjoy that. But now it's time for a story. Okay, so we have a special story today. Um, and I hope... You're going to love this, okay? So, because we have been trapped inside at home all week because of uh, the flu, um, we have a story, and it's called Trapped Inside with the Rantorinos. And notice there's an S on the end here. Trapped Inside with the Rantorinos, and it's, uh, it's a make-your-own-adventure story. How does it work? Well, you'll see the start down here. We have the start. It says, the Rantorino is at home. He hears a knock at the front door. Someone knocking at the front door. Now, we've got two choices. He goes to the front door and opens it. Or he doesn't go and open the door. You guys in the live chat, I want you to choose where we go. So the top one here, he goes to the front door and opens it. We'll say that's choice one. Or choice two, he doesn't go and open the door. You decide. Okay, send me a message, just say one or two, which choice? So, the Rantorino is at home, and he hears a knock at the front door. So, choice one, he goes to the front door and opens it. Ooh, <clears throat> or he doesn't go, that's number two, he doesn't go and open the door. Tell me in the uh, live chat which one you want to choose. So, Ashley said one. Okay, one. One. Oh, two. Oh, we're getting a lot of twos. Matt's saying two. Well, Matt, you can only say two, one. And we've got one. Oh, we've got two. We've got one. Two. Two. One. Two. Two. One. Oh, oh we've got more ones here. We've got twos. Two, 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 two. One. One. <clears throat> oh, it looks like uh, it's uh, about 50-50. Oh, we got twos, and then we got one, one. Okay, one, 
choice one, 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 okay, one, one. There we go, so he likes to be stuck at home. One, 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 okay. It looks like most of you want to choose one. So, let's, uh, let's just read through. So, the Rantorino is at home, okay. He hears a knock at the front door. Knock, knock, knock. And you tell me you want number one. He goes to the front door and opens it. Okay, let's find out what happens next. Ooh, standing at the door is another Rantorino. Ooh, another Rantorino. The Rantorino looks at the other Rantorino and... Okay, we've got two choices. So, the Rantorino looks at the other Rantorino and says, Hello, who are you? Or, the Rantorino looks at the other Rantorino and he slams, bang! He slams the door shut, saying, Go away! Ooh, okay, choice one, he says hello, choice two, he slams the door closed, he shuts the door and says go away, tell me in the live chat what do you want, one or two, <clears throat> ooh, got quite a lot of twos, oh, some ones, one, 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 two, one, one, Chip Quan Yu from 6B says, shouldn't Rantorino say blah, blah, blah? Well, maybe, yeah. Okay, two, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, oh! One, one, two, 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 okay. Oh, twos, there's a lot of twos. Oh, there's a lot of ones now. One, 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 one. Okay, I think it's going to be one again. We're getting lots of ones in the live chat. Okay, guys, so... The Rantorino looks at the other Rantorino and says, Hello, who are you? Okay, let's go. Who are you? Boom. Ooh. <clears throat> What's it say here? It says, uh, ooh. The other Rantorino at the door says, I am the real Rantorino, not you. Get out of my house. And the Rantorino inside the house says, No, you aren't. I'm the real Rantorino. That's choice one. Or, the Rantorino inside the house says, go away. We're talking about going away. I'm just going to move myself out of uh, there. There we go. Okay, so, choice one or choice two. What's it going to be? Let's have a look in the live chat. Oh, we have a lot of ones again. Oh, and then Matt says two, one, 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 two, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 one. Oh, I think it's very clear that, oh, we've got a two. Most people, they want choice number one. And Isabel is saying they are both the real Rantorinos. Maybe, Isabel, maybe. Okay, yes, in the live chat, uh, or probably about 70% of you guys are saying ones. But now we're getting a lot of twos as well. Oh, back to ones. Okay, so I think it's going to be one. So the Rantorino inside the house says, no, you aren't. 
I'm the real Rantorino. Okay, so what's going to happen next? Boom. Let's find out. Okay, oh. Then uh, the Rantorino says to the other Rantorino at the door, Hey, um, you do look just like me. Or, that's choice one, choice two, hey, go away. Then he shuts the door. Ooh. So, what's going to happen next? What does Ranty say? Does he say to the other Rantorino, does he say, hey, you, you do look just like me? Or does he say, hey, go away? And then shuts the door, closes the door. One or two? Tell me in the live chat. Oh, uh, Abigail saying maybe uh, the Rantorinos are twins. Okay. Oh, we're getting a lot of twos on this one. Oh, uh, a few ones, but we get two. One, two, 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 one, two, one, two. Two, 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 one, two, 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 one, two, one, one, two. <laughs> we could do this all day, yeah? Okay, I think it's going to be two. I think it's two, yeah, we're getting twos, lots of twos. Okay, guys, you have chosen number two. So, the Rantorino says to the other Rantorino at the door, hey, go away. And then he shuts the door. Okay. Let's find out what happens next. Ooh. One minute later, there is a tap. Tap, tap, tap. A tap at the window. Oh, so someone's knocking the window. Now, the Rantorino goes and opens the curtains and looks out the window. Or, the Rantorino goes and turns the TV on. So, does he go and look out the window? Or does he just turn the TV on? Mm. So, someone is knocking or tapping at the window. What's he going to do? Choice one or two? Let's have a look in the live chat. Uh, okay, ones, two, one, one. One, 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 two, two. Now, oh, Clovis has been it twice, just, okay, one. One, 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 one. Clovis really wants number two. He's putting two, 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 two. Okay, uh, oh, quite a few want to. Okay, Caden, Matt. Uh, Ashley Audrey wants one. Two, 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 one, two, two, two. Uh, there's a lot of twos coming up here. Two, two. Okay, guys, choice two. It's choice two. So, one minute later, there is a tap at the window, but uh, the Rantorino just goes and turns the TV on. Right. So, what's going to happen next? He's going to just turn the TV on. He's not going to the window. Ooh. So, now, while the Rantorino is watching TV, he hears a knock at the door again. So knock at the door again. Knock, knock, knock. Now, he decides to go and open the front door. That's choice one. Or he decides to turn up the volume on the TV. You make it louder so that uh, he doesn't have to listen to the knocking on the front door. Well, guys, tell me in the live chat, what does he decide to do? Open the front door. 
That's number one. Turn up the volume on the TV. Number two. Let's see what you're saying. Okay, we've got one, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one. Oh, good morning, Raina. One, two, one, two. There's a lot of ones on this one. Owen wants two. JC's one. Toti wants two. One, two, please. Uh, Matt is saying two, please. But we've got one, 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 two, one, one, two, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. It's one. It's going to be one. Okay, it's one. He decides. So, he's watching TV. He hears the knock at the door again. So he decides to go and open the front door. And, ah, uh, again, standing at the door is another Rantorino. And the Rantorino looks at the other Rantorino and, well, the first time you guys wanted him to say hello. Do you still want him to say hello? Or do you want him to slam the door shut, saying go away? What's it to be? He's back at the door. Tell me in the live chat, one or two? Oh, Alpha wants him, uh, wanted him to turn up the volume on the TV before, okay. So, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, two, <laughs> one, two, 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 one, two, one, two, and Alpha just said, well, one, two. Wilson's one or two. Two, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, 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 please, says Matt. Okay, two, one, okay, I think it's two. So, this time, he's not going to say hello. He did that before. So he's just going to, he slams the door shut and says, go away. Okay, slams the door shut, slam, bang. So what's going to happen next? Uh, again, one minute later, there's a tap at the window, again, oh. so, the Rantorino goes, and, what's he going to do, is he going to open the curtains and look out the window this time, or is he going to turn the TV on, open the window, or sort of open the curtains and look out the window, or turn the TV on. Which one? I feel like already we are trapped inside this story. Okay, let's have a look on the live chat. One, 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 one. One. Ooh, Maven and Malvin say two. Okay, one, 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 two, 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 one, one. Two. Yeah, Matt, if you just keep pressing two like a hundred times, that, that's not going to help. I can see it's you, so you, that's one, two. Okay, one, 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 two, 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 one, two, one, 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 one. Clovis is screaming, one, please. Yep, yeah, I think most of you want one this time. Okay, so there's the tap 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 at the window and this time the Rantorino goes and opens the curtains and looks out the window. Okay, so what happens next? Ooh. There is another Rantorino standing outside the window. Of course. So, what is the Rantorino going to do now? The Rantorino 
closes the curtains or he actually opens the window. Is he going to close the curtains or open the window? Mm. And there is the window. So is he going to open it like that or is he going to just close those curtains? Close the curtains, choice one. Open the window, choice two. Tell me what it's going to be. Okay, oh, Leo's in. Good morning. Oh, a lot of twos coming in now. Oh, uh, a one from Matt there. Twos. Two, two, two. Two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. <laughs> What's it going to be, guys? This is 50 50. Two, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, two, 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 two. Okay, we're getting lots of twos coming through now. Okay, it's two. The Rantorino opens the window. Right. So, what's going to happen next when he opens the window? Ooh. The other Rantorino stands there and he just says, I am the real Rantorino, not you. That's choice one. Or, the other Rantorino stands there and he just says, this is my house, not yours. Ooh. So, what does the other Rantorino say? Choice one or choice two? Okay, let's see what numbers we've got coming through. Um, one, two, one, 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 two, 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 one, two, one, one. So we need to try to avoid doing the same choice. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two, one, one. Huh? Matt says 42. Two, one, 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 two, two, one, two, one, one. I think I'm saying one more. Okay. It's one. The other Rantorino stands there and he just says, I am the real Rantorino, not you. Right. So what happens next? Huh? Huh? Suddenly... The Rantorino wakes up. He was dreaming. Oh, and then he hears a knock at the front door. Oh, oh. Hang on. So suddenly the Rantorino wakes up. So he was dreaming. This was all just a dream about the other Rantorino. And then he hears a knock at the front door. Choice one. He goes to the front door and opens it. Choice two. He doesn't open the front door. What do you want? Choice one. He goes and opens the door. Or choice two. He doesn't open the front door. Oh my goodness. It was a dream. Was it? Okay, let's have a look on the live chat. Uh, we've got two, two, one, one, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, one, two, one, one, two, 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 two. Oh, I'm getting lots of twos here, some ones as, as well, but lots of twos. Okay, guys, I think it's choice two. He doesn't open the front door. So, 
he was dreaming all of this before. Yeah, he wakes up, he was dreaming, and then at the front door, knock, 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 and he doesn't open the front door. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Uh, one minute later, there is a tap at the window. Um, he was dreaming about this before, right? It was all a dream, right? And now he's woken up. Someone's knocking at the door. He, he doesn't go. And now, again, there's a tap at the window. Oh, my goodness. Is he going to open the curtains and look out the window? Or is he just going to turn the TV on? Oh, this is crazy. We're, we're trapped inside this story. How can we escape? What do you want? One or two? Oh, Two, 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 one, two, two. Tony's saying Kahoot, Kahoot. Yes, Tony, don't worry. We will be playing the Kahoot soon. Uh, that's just, uh, we're just going to spend uh, two more minutes trying to get to the end of this story. Um, two, 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 two. Okay, we, two. Oh, we're getting a few ones now. Oh, and uh, a lot of twos. Two, one, two, 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 one. Matt is, is praying for twos. Okay. Two it is then, okay? So, he's going to turn the TV on. He's going to turn the TV on. But hang on, is he is he still dreaming now? Or, or, uh, he woke up, right? So he was dreaming this before, and now it's real, is it? Oh. oh, here we go. So, while the Rantorino is watching TV, he hears a knock at the door again. Oh, my goodness. Is he still dreaming? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, he decides to go and open the front door, or turn up the volume on the TV. Number one, he decides to go and open the front door. Number two, he decides to turn up the volume on the TV. What's it to be, guys? One or two? Chick Kwan Yu from 6B is desperate for number two. But uh, Heidi and Bianca, they're saying one. They want one. Abigail, what's one? And Yip Quan Ho from 2C. Hello, hello. You want two? Two, two. Oh, yes, it's uh, that's Nathan, isn't it? Hello, Nathan. Okay, two, 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 one, one, one. Two, two, one, two, one, one, two, two, two. One, two, two. It's two. It's going to be two. Okay, guys. So, while the Rantorino is watching TV, he hears a knock at the door again, and he decides to turn up the volume on the TV so that he cannot hear that knocking at the door. What happens next? Ooh. The Rantorino is sitting there. He is watching TV. When he hears something come down his chimney. Now, this word, chimney, this might be a new word for lots of you guys. So, uh, let's just check that we know the word chimney. If you know what it means, and maybe if you know what it means in Chinese, you can actually type into the live chat uh, the Chinese word for chimney. Yeah? That's choice one. Basically, um, a chimney is, you have a fire in the old days. You had maybe a fire in your living room and all the smoke from the fire would go up the chimney and out of the house. Okay. And uh, chimneys are famous because uh, that is what 
Santa Claus goes down when he's delivering Christmas gifts. He goes down the chimney. Anyway, that's choice one. He's watching TV when he hears something come down his chimney. Or he's watching TV when he hears a knock at the front door again and he goes to open the door. Okay, Oscar has uh, typed in the Chinese for chimney there. So if you look at the live chat now, uh, or if you just scroll back up. Uh, Oscar, can you, uh, can you send that into the live chat again, please? So that uh, everyone can see the Chinese word for chimney. Okay, so... We are getting uh, quite a lot of ones coming in here. And uh, Goldblock is saying, please speak louder. Uh, if you can't hear me, uh, let me uh, let me know if uh, anyone else can't hear me. Oh, I'm getting this message again and again. Okay, uh, Goldblock, I've got my volume on full volume, so... Uh, Okay, thank you, Oscar. We've got uh, the word for chimney there again in. Okay, gold block, uh, you just keep sending the same message. Um, have, check your volume. I'm going to uh, say that. Um, okay, Alice is saying I can hear Mr. Matthew. Okay, so gold block, uh, turn up your volume. Okay, or uh, is this uh, a kind of a... Yes, turn your own volume up. Thank you, yes. Okay, that could be a uh, could be a spam spamming one in there. Let's uh, just uh, come out, guys. I'm just going to uh, while we're choosing, uh, we've got two one one one. Okay, I'm going to have to just um, come into the uh, live chat and uh, guys. Um, I'm I'm going to have to just uh, block that one. Um, Oh, it's going so fast. Okay, hang on. Let's just uh, come back out. Okay, guys. So, what's it to be? Is it um, he hears something come down his chimney, or he hears the knock at the door? Um, yes. Thank you, uh, Lee Pat Long, uh, Mr. Golock. Please stop that message. Um, okay. Everyone else is saying we can hear you. Okay. So it's one, 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 two, one. Let me go back up. One, 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 one. Okay. Uh, it looks like most of you are saying one. So he hears something come down his chimney. Right. Next. Ooh. The Rantorino goes to the fireplace at the bottom of the chimney and he sees... Santa Claus, or he sees another Rantorino. Ooh. Choice one, he sees Santa Claus, or choice two, another Rantorino. What's it to be, guys? So, in the live chat, one, 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 oh, we've got lots of ones. Okay, everyone's saying one. Your Ranta Claus, yep, okay, one it is. So he sees Rant, uh, sorry, Santa Claus, <laughs> Ranta Claus, okay, he sees Santa Claus. Dun, dun, dun. What's going to happen next? What? 
suddenly the Rantorino wakes up. He was dreaming. What? He was still dreaming? He was dreaming again? And then he hears a knock at the front door. Oh no. Oh, we're trapped inside this story. We cannot get out. Oh dear. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Clearly, this is going to take a long time to get out of this story. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send this story into our Google Classroom so that uh, maybe later today, uh, maybe this afternoon or at the weekend, you can go into it, you can choose all the choices you want and see if you can finally escape from the story. Or will you be trapped inside this story with the Rantorinos forever? Ooh. Okay, so we need to play some cahoots. Guys, you can play and read this story uh, by yourselves over the weekend uh, because, okay, we're going to send it to our Google Classroom, okay? And uh, at the end of today's Kahoot, uh, at the end of today's live stream, sorry, I will, um, I will remind everyone how to uh, get into our Google Classroom. And uh, we also need to check that everyone's uh, okay to get in there. Um, because some students have been having a problem, yeah? Okay, so let me just send that to all you guys. And you can have fun with that at home. Okay, so that is now in the Google Classroom. Uh, if, you, uh, if you want to read it and try and get to an end, good luck. Okay. Uh, Isabel is saying, is it possible to escape that story? Isabel, uh, why don't you try this weekend? See if you can. Okay. All right. And uh, just going into the live chat, uh, Oscar saying, are you joking, Mr. Matthew? Oh, I'm not. Saying it's impossible. Well, maybe it's impossible. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, anyway. Let me uh, just type that in. Trapped inside with the Rantorinos. So, there it is in our Google Classroom. Okay, guys, um, enjoy that this weekend, yeah? Now, it is time for some cahoots, yeah? Um, I know a lot of you love to play, and we're going to start... Today's first Kahoot, quite simple, months of the year for our uh, younger students, but uh, anyone can play. So, do you know your months of the year in English? Let's find out. Okay, guys, I'm going to set this up, and uh, I think all of you know now how to do it. You, uh, you do need a phone. Uh, to type in, uh, so if you get your phone or iPad, go to kahoot.it and you're going to put in the game pin here, it says game pin and today's game pin is this number 1957744 Okay, so I'm going to move myself out of the way. I'm going to give, give you guys a couple of minutes to uh, get yourself signed in. And uh, then we can play. Why was my uh, speaker off?
Okay guys, we've got uh, 48 players, 49, okay, I'll give you another 20 seconds to get in. Oh, and in the live chat, Luke is saying my home is next to Ocean Park, I like to go there. Okay, great. Ocean Park's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, we're up to... Um, 52 players, okay. We'll count down now. You've got 10 seconds, guys, to join in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, oh. I uh, have a uh, little message in uh, from uh, Chow Chun Hei, 1A, student 5. What is a Kahoot? Okay. Um, just watch and you'll see. And uh, basically, if you go to kahoot.it on your phone, you can uh, type in this code number and play the game. But uh, if you're not sure, uh, Chow Chun Hei, uh, what is a Kahoot? Just watch this, this first one and you'll see. Uh, what it is and uh, then you'll be ready to play uh, other cahoots next time okay let's play guys three two one we're gonna start oh just lost two players hang on there we go, 51, we're on 51, 52, Halia just got in, okay, months of the year, should be easy, is it, some difficult spelling, okay, so this month is not cold or hot, well, it's not cold or hot, and it's, uh, it's actually uh, next month, isn't it, this one? But uh, how do you spell March? Okay, yes, of course, the correct answer is M-A-R-C-H. Now, some of you uh, did the green one, yeah? But uh, remember, with our months of the year, uh, you do need a big letter, a capital letter, for the first letter. So, the big M, we needed that, yes? Don't forget your capital letters. All right, because, who is because? Because is uh, top of the pile at the moment. Okay. All right. Let's try the next one. 
Again, this month is not cold or hot. Yeah, it is of course April, but uh, how do you spell it? Okay, Chow Chun Hei, uh, yes, what is a Kahoot, what is a Kahoot, what is a Kahoot? Okay, I will uh, explain at the end of the live stream today so that you're uh, ready for next week, okay? Um, so you don't uh, need to keep sending that message in the live chat. And let me just type that message in and I'll explain. At the end. Okay, so, of course, the answer is A P R I L with a capital A. All right, let's have a look. So that was April. And because is who is because? Let us know in the live chat. Tedmond, Abigail, Tony in fourth place, and Jaden from 4C. Good to see you in the top five. Next next question. How, <laughs> how do you spell June? Is it with five letters starting with a J and ending in E? Or is it with four letters starting with a J and ending in N? Or is it uh, December? What? Or is it green with four letters just like in the question? Silly. Okay, now the answer, of course, is with four letters, just like in the question, J-U-N-E, June. Okay. Okay, guys, now, before we carry on, uh, I, I'm seeing today we're getting a lot of kind of um, messages in the live chat again and again, and we've got people now, um, so uh, asking uh, 1A, Student 5, Chow Chun Hei, to stop, keep saying, what is Kahoot, what is Kahoot? And then he's replying, no. Um, guys, please use the live chat um, carefully. Thank you. Okay, we got the message through. Okay. Because if we, if students just use the live chat and just put in loads of crazy things, repeat, repeat, um, in the end, I will have to stop it and we will not be able to uh, talk to each other at all. Okay, guys, so please remember uh, that when you're using the live stream, uh, we all need to use it in a good way. Otherwise, we have to stop certain um, people from using it or we have to stop the whole live chat, okay? So please help me with that. All right. Tedmond is top of the pile after that question. Let's try the next one. Okay. This is a good month to go to the beach. It's in the summer, and of course it is August. But how do you spell August?
Okay, so the answer is, of course, the uh, the yellow or orange, whatever colour that is. A U G U S T, August, and Tedmond is still top. And uh, those are our top five at the moment. Will they stay there? Next question. Okay, this is another good month to go to the beach. So, July, July, it's a good month to go to the beach, it's very hot, but how do you spell July? In the live chat, uh, Chung Kai Chi from 6B, hello Kai Chi, saying, is that a shark swimming towards the Rantorino? Uh, yes, I think it is. Okay, of course the answer is the red one, J-U-L-Y. Quite easy, yep. Okay, and Tedmond is still at the top. And the top five, I think, are the same, still the same. Good for you guys. Right, let's try the next question. How do you spell m m Be careful, this is a little bit of a trick question. How do you spell ma? Happy birthday, Tutti. It's your birthday today. Congratulations. You can uh, let us know in the live chat uh, if you're going to do anything nice today for your birthday. Okay, so... There we go. The uh, answer is A Y because M, that's the first letter, and then you just need the A and the Y. Yes, so that was a little bit of a trick question. That's how you spell May M A Y. Has that changed our leaderboard? Well, Tedman's top, Kike second, okay, Gold Blocks third, Morris is uh, now in fourth, and Adchan, that, would that be Adrian, I'm guessing, yeah, in fifth place. Oh, good for you guys. Now, question seven. This month is cold. And this month is, of course, this month. Okay, Raina from 4B in the live chat. I'm very sorry to hear that your iPad has uh, slow Wi-Fi. Um, that's too bad. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Um, but you can still play the game, but uh, you just can't get uh, on the leaderboard, yeah? You can just kind of watch it after it's happened, yeah? But uh, sorry to hear that your Wi-Fi is uh, very, very slow there. Okay, anyway, 
February, I remember when I was at school, um, I, I could never remember how to spell this. Uh, and then I just kind of thought, Feb, Ru, Eri. I kind of changed how it sounds. I broke it into three parts. Feb, R, R, Ru, Eri. Um, and that's how I remem remembered this kind of tricky, tricky word. But obviously we just say February. So that, that first R, you can't hear it, yeah? Uh, but anyway, that is how you spell February with two R's. And who is... Same top five. Okay. All right, let's see the next question. It's a new year. And guys, for this question, of course, uh, we're not talking uh, about the Chinese New Year. We're talking about the, the Western New Year. Of course, it's in January. January the 1st. But uh, how do you spell January? Nice to see uh, everyone's wishing uh, Toti a uh, happy birthday today in the live chat. Okay. It is red. Well done. Most of you got that. And so, yeah, January really does have one R. So February, two R's. You think of February is the second month, number two. So you think two R's. Uh, but January is number one and only one R. That's a good way to remember that spelling. OK, leaderboard. Kihei has jumped into first place. Uh, Morris, second. Maurice, sorry. Uh, Goldblock is in third, and uh, Adrian and Tedmond has dropped into fifth place. Ooh. Okay. So, this month is the start of autumn. Which month is the start of autumn? Is it September, October, November, or December? So what's it to be guys? Is it September, October, November or December? The start of autumn. Oh, and uh, Clovis says uh, it's his birthday this month. Oh, well, let us know when it is, uh, Clovis, and we can say happy birthday to you. All right, September is the first month of autumn. Yes. And Goldblock is in first place. Uh, Ad Chan, second, Maurice, Kihei, and Tedman. So a little bit of change. Goldblock is top. All right, let's try the next question. The last day of this month is Halloween. The last day of this month is Halloween. So if you know when Halloween is, you know what the answer is. Do you know the spelling? OK, 
okay, uh, Yvette, Yvette Man in the live chat saying uh, she always cannot match the questions. Okay, I'm not sure what the problem is with that, uh, Yvette. Um, keep playing and see uh, see if uh, if it works. If not, do let me know again in the live chat. Uh, Abigail says uh, it's her birthday this month too. Ooh, good for you. Okay, October. This is Halloween, the last day. That's the 31st of October. And that is how you spell it in the green one. O-C-T-O-B-E-R. Okay, and ooh, add Chan up into first. Tedmond, Kihei, and... Goldblock and Maurice, so it's still the same top five. Just moving around. Okay, question 11. Christmas is in this month. Oh, there's a Ranta Claus. We just saw a picture of uh, Ranta, Ranta Santa, Ranta Claus in the, um, in the story, story we were reading, right? Anyway, Christmas is in December. How do you spell it? Almost all of you got that one, yeah? Of course it is. D-E-C-E-M-B-E-R. Now, we have one more question on this quiz. And Adrian is in first place. Oscar has jumped suddenly from nowhere into second place. Tedman's third. Uh, Kihei fourth. And Bosco Chen from 6C has jumped into uh, fifth place. But who is going to be in our top three? I think Kihei and Bosco, either of you could jump into the top three if the others make a mistake. Last question. Now, we've done all the months of the year except one. Which month have we not done yet? Is it November, 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 or November? Okay, Yvette in the live chat says uh, it cannot work. You're loading question 12 now. Okay. A little bit slow, uh, Yvette, on the Wi-Fi, I think. So guys, what's it to be? November, November, November or November? Of course, it was a, it's a joke question, they're all correct. That was the, uh, the one month that we had not looked at and uh, they are all exactly the same. And that's how you spell November. N-O-V-E-M-B-E-R. All right, our top three. Third place goes to Tedmund. Second place, Oscar. But uh, first place is Ad Chan. Adrian, congratulations to all three of you. You're our top three for this quiz. Okay, now I'm, uh, I'm just gonna come out of uh, this. And before we play our next Kahoot for today, 
Um, so I'm just going to explain. Uh, I need to actually just bring myself back in here for a moment. And uh, I, I want to explain. Uh, so there is maybe one or two uh, students or parents who are saying, what is Kahoot? Uh, how do you play? Well, basically, uh, uh, as you're watching the Kahoot questions on the screen on the computer, you need your phone or an iPad and you need to go get on your phone and go into kahoot.it and that's how you play the game. You play it from your phone or iPad. Okay, and then you just click in there the game pin number which we show uh, before we start each game. Okay, so uh, I hope that helps our student uh, in 1A. Um, that's what you need to do, kahoot.it on the internet on your phone. Okay, now uh, we are going to play a second Kahoot game uh, today and the first one, the months of the year, was uh, for our younger students, uh, not too difficult, but uh, the second one is for our older students and it's a super tricky one. Now I'm going to show you how we play the second game because the second game is all about anagrams Ooh, now there's a big word let me just uh, find it uh, da, 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 da. so anagrams uh, where is it da, 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 da. Ooh, hang on let me just find it guys oh. can I go past it Ah, here it is, sorry. Yes. Okay, anagrams. Now, I'm going to show you the first question. Okay, now the question is always the same actually. So, which anagram is a real word? word? Now, an anagram is just when you, you move all the letters around in a word, yeah? So, you take an English word, mix up like a puzzle, mix up all the letters and then uh, you have an anagram. So it's, it's like a little puzzle game. So the, each question for the, the second Kahoot says which anagram is a real English word and so the first question we're going to do uh, we can see you've got three choices. Now you need to look and I suggest I suggest you go and get paper and pen because when you see the question and you see the answers, you maybe want to look at them and you maybe want to just check. So which one is, so number one is, is that question? Is that, is that, does that Q, U, E, S, T, question? Yes. Okay. So if you, hang on, just put that out there. If you, you can actually use a pen and paper to, to test whether the word is correct. So, for example, B, answer, that's not, we're missing, yeah? We're missing the E there. So that's, oh, no, that's wrong. And this one at the bottom, the yellow one, it looks, maybe it's a question, but uh, if I just put in Q, U, oh, there's two I's. I, I. So question, as we can see, question only has uh, one I. So this is how we play the game. And it's, it's difficult, it's tough, it's for our older students, so <clears throat> we shall see how good they are at sorting out anagrams. Okay, let me just check everyone's okay in the live chat before we start. Okay, and everyone seems to be okay there, let's uh, play. So. The code for our second game today, our anagrams, is this. So remember, you need to uh, go to uh, kahoot.it on your phone, kahoot.it on the internet on your phone, and type in this number and then your name, 5286910. Type in the code, and we'll give you uh, a minute or two minutes to get yourselves signed in. Okay?
Okay, uh, Yvette, Yvette Man. So uh, yeah, try again um, next time or um, maybe next week when we're back on as well. Um, and we'll see if, uh, if it speeds up and gets faster. Okay guys, so uh, everyone's uh, getting themselves into the game. Remember, this is a difficult one. Get yourselves pen and paper to help you. And we'll start in uh, about one minute. Okay, looks like, uh, oh, we've got 57 players in, super. And uh, let's just check on the live chat, is anyone having any problems getting in? Kai Chi, say hello there, it's okay, good, good. Okay says uh, Heidi and Bianca, yeah? Okay, time to play, yes. So, I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, guys, let's play. Well, I showed you the answer for the first one. Which anagram is the real, or is a real English word? It is, of course. Well, I don't need to tell you the answer, do I? Yes, uh, it is, uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, question. That's, uh, if you mix those words around, you get question. Well, some of you guys got that wrong. Hmm. Okay, I thought I, uh, I told you the answer to that one. Okay, well, Oscar, top of the pile. Next question. Uh, which anagram is a real English word? Ooh, have a look at these three.
Can you make uh, an English word with uh, the red one? Or the blue one? Or the yellow one? Which one can you turn into an English word? Some of you guys are, uh, you, think you, fa- you think you found the answer, right, in the live chat, some of you guys? Well, actually, you did. And uh, yes, the answer is blue. You can turn these around to say want, W-A-N-T. And uh, yep, so uh, a few of you guys have got that. W-A-N-T, want. That is definitely an English word. Okay, ooh, Clovis is top. Raina is second. Oh, Raina, I hope your iPad's working now, I hope. Uh, Owen, Audrey, and Tedmund. And Tedmund's always in the top five, isn't he? Super fast. Or super fast Wi-Fi. Okay, next anagram. Which one's real? Okay, uh, Yvette is still having problems. Um, well, I'm very sorry about that, Yvette. Um, I'm not sure what I can do. You said you're in question three. Well, we're, we're all in question three now. Um, so, yes. Um, Yvette, Yvette man, uh, I'm not sure how I can help you to be honest. Um, if it's your your Wi-Fi at home that's slow, or is every, uh, most of the other students and parents seem to be getting in with no problem. Um, I'll have to think about that. Anyway, the answer is of course uh, the red one, and already uh, a few of you guys have turned it around. It is of course fish. Fish. Okay. Now, actually, uh, Chitsi Yin has, has, has said pray. P R E W. Actually, do you know what? That would have been correct as well. But uh, the answer was fish. Okay. Who's winning? Owen has moved up to top spot. Then Audrey, Tedman, Sharon, and Alpha. Alpha's back in the top five. Hello, Alpha. Okay, question four. So, let's have a look at these. Mm. This one looks quite difficult. Okay, yep. Yeah. I uh, in the live chat uh, from the, talking about the last question. Why not pray? Um, yeah, actually, that was my mistake. I should have uh, put that as a correct answer as well. So I'm sorry, Lee Packlong and uh, Kai Chi. Yes, you are right. That should have been also correct, because pray, P-R-E-Y, is an English word. That's my mistake. Yep, Isabel's mentioning that as well. Yes, guys, I am very sorry. I, uh, I made a mistake there. Okay. All right, anyway. A, you can make an English word with these letters, H-O-L-U-D-S. Uh, tell us in the live chat what you think that word is. Does anyone know? Mm. 
No, oh, thanks, Kai Chi. Very kind for giving my uh, my mistake there with prey. That's very kind of you. Okay. Anyway, this one, uh, H O L U D S. Uh, does anyone know what that word, what word we can make with those letters? Oh, quick sorry to Bertrand in the live chat as well who put prey on the uh, the last question. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, we have the answers coming through. Oscar, Alpha, and Bertrand are all saying it's should. That's right. S H O U L D. Should. All right. Next question. So, which one's real on this one? Ooh. Uh, this one's a bit easier, isn't it? Yes, you can make an English word with O-T-O, and already in the live stream, uh, we have, uh, yes, Katie, uh, don't, if you want to do well in the quiz, don't tell everybody the answer in the live chat too soon, yeah? Uh, and the answer, of course, is too, as in T-O-O, as in too, stu too soon. So, uh, yeah, that one was uh, quite easy, yeah? And leaderboard. Ah, Abigail's moved into the lead leaderboard now in uh, fifth place down there. Owen is still on top. Next question. one's not so easy, is it? Blue. P-U-O-N. You can make a an English word with those four letters, but uh, what word can you make with P U O N? Let us know in the live chat. Can anyone tell us? Move around those letters P U O N. Anyone? Clovis, yes, upon, U-P-O-N, that is the word you can make with that, upon, U-P-O-N, all right, any change at the top, oh, Hayden has now moved into fifth place, oh, well done, Hayden, okay, next question.
Well, we've got three things here. <laughs> it looks so very deary geary. You can make an English word with one of those. Ooh. I've got a message in the live chat from uh, Copac Q from 6B. He says, I chose the blue, but he said wrong. Is that for the last question? Well, I don't know why. It should, it should be right, yeah? Well, just be careful when you're pressing the colours uh, on your phones or iPads. Just make sure your finger is right on the, the correct colour, just in case. All right, now, okay, A, the red one, is correct, V-E-E-R-Y. Now, who can move those letters around and tell me the English word? V-E-E-R-Y. What word can you make with that? Trixie says, IDK, I don't know. And neither does Chow Wing Tung. Ooh. Well, I'll give you a clue. The first letter is E. Oh, and Clovis is again, he's first in. Clovis, you're very good at this, yeah? Every, yes, E-V-E-R-Y. That is correct. Oh, now Isabella is saying reedy is a word. Oh, and uh, in the live uh, chat, Chung Kai Chi saying, I think there are too too many people making the server break down. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. All right, every. Now, anyway, Isabel says, autocorrection says, reedy is a word. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Reedy is a word. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Um, Isabel, if you can give me a sentence using the word reedy, type it into the live chat. Okay. Next one. Oh, Hayden Chow from 2A has got to the top of the pile. Can you stay there, Hayden? Let's try the next one. Okay, which one's which one can make a real word word here? Agnes Chu in the live chat saying, it's so hard, it's really difficult, yeah? Well, this, this quiz is for our older students, yeah? We had the easy one, the months of the year, a bit easier. Uh, but yeah, this, this quiz is uh, quite difficult. Okay, uh, Luke Ng in live chat. Please use the live chat nicely or I will have to block you and uh, uh, report you to the YouTube police. Uh, we don't want uh, just silly, silly comments like that, Luke. So please stop that or I will uh, have to uh, block you. All right. The yellow or orange one here, T-H-O, T-H-O. We can make a, an English word with that very easy, right? What's the word? Uh, Katie's saying th though. Yes, uh, thank you, Miss T. She's saying, Luke, please behave. Yes, Luke, I hope you can stay on the live chat, uh, but we will have to stop you from using it if you carry on with uh, just silly words okay okay so isabel has uh, put in the live chat 
Uh, she's cut and paste all the uh, uses of the word reedy. Okay, Isabel, you, you are right. Reedy uh, what is a word, and uh, I can only say sorry that I made a mistake in that uh, previous question. All right. Ooh, now Oscar in the live chat is saying, uh, Mr. Matthew, you can use an app called Word Expert to check an anagram can make a word or not. Ooh, well, Oscar, uh, that's uh, maybe going to be helpful for lots of students. But uh, do they have time to download the app Word Expert and use it? Anyway, the answer, of course, for that question was hot, H-O-T. Okay, next question. Hayden's still in the lead. So which of those uh, is going to make a real English word? Okay, so the uh, the one that makes a word is the blue one, N-I-E-N. -E but um, what word does that make? What word can you make with N-I-E-N? -E Let us know in the live chat. Okay, oh, and in the live chat, Mr. C is asking Luke, yes, what do you mean? Yes, Luke is posting just pictures, 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 pictures. And yes, you see, thank you. He's saying, Luke, please try to communicate in English. Yes, that's what we want. Uh, instead of just sending pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures, because it just makes the uh, live chat all messy. So yes, try and uh, use the live chat to practice your English. Okay, anyway, we've got the answers from the answer from lots of people here. N-I-N-E -E is nine. Okay, who's at the top? It is still Hayden Chow from 2A. Oh, you're doing great in this game. Let's try the next question. Okay, so the, the yellow one is correct. E T T B E R. Okay, so what English word can we make with those letters? Ooh, let us know in the live chat. 
Oh, and uh, we've already got the answer in there. Yes, sir. Better. B E T T E R. Okay, so better. And uh, let's have a look in the leaderboard and see who is doing better than others. Our best top five at the moment. Hayden is still, wow. And he's like 2,000 points ahead. Wow, Hayden, fantastic. Owen's there, Audrey, Sharon, and in fifth place, Caden from 4B is doing well. Okay, let's try the next one. Ah, well, this, uh, clearly, one of these words should be able to spell yesterday, right? Yesterday. But which one? Okay, so the red one was correct with those letters. You can spell yesterday, but uh, well, how do you move those around to, um, to make the word yesterday? If you know how to spell yesterday, type it into the live chat. Yesterday. Okay, leaderboard. Ooh, we've got someone. Uh, Audrey Lee from 3B has uh, jumped into third place. But uh, Hayden is still top of the pile. Next question. Yes, uh, Lee, Pack Long, uh, Lee Pack Long from 4C has got yesterday. Spelling is very good. Isabel too. So which one of these three can make a real English word? And on the live chat, uh, Yvette Man, yes, uh, you're a little bit behind. Uh, I know you've got Wi-Fi problems, but you're getting the answers uh, right. Better for the uh, question, a couple of questions ago, well done. Oh, and we've got lots of students uh, typing in now saying hello to uh, Mr. T, who's uh, joining us. Good to have you here. Okay. Blue is correct. You can make a real English word with blue. But what word can you make with the letters W R A T E? W R A T E. Move those around and what word can you get? Please tell us in the live chat. W R A T E. W R A T E. What's that? Anyway, while we're thinking about that, let's look at the leaderboard. No change at the top. But uh, people are getting closer to Hayden, Hayden Chow in 2A. You still have about a thousand point lead, but they're getting closer. How close will they get? Okay, let's try. Yes, we got the answers in the live chat. Water, W A T E R, water. Okay, let's try the next question. Oh my goodness. 
Goodness gracious me, look at this. This looks like three alien words from an alien language. But one of them, you can move the letters around and, and actually make an English word, really? This is a very tricky one, isn't it? What word? What, what English word is hiding somewhere in there? Is it the red one, the, the blue one, the yellow one? Oh, tricky. Okay, the answer is the red one, but, uh, oh, Esuakabi, Esuakabi. What, what word is that? What English word is that? If you move the letters, let me know in the live chat. That's a super difficult one. Oh, and in the live chat, uh, so Goldblock says, "Ah, oh, you only have seven seconds to try." Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it must be the uh, maybe it's the Wi-Fi is a bit slow. Keep playing and see if it gets a bit faster. Okay, have we got the answer? Yes, we do, from Katie So. Well done, Katie. You saw that that word is because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Okay, fantastic. Because. Hayden's still top. Next question. Uh, actually, guys, I'm looking at this one. I can see um, that maybe two of these. I think I can make an English word with two of these. And I was right. Yes, you can. There's two of these make English words. Now the red one, mm, what's that? What English word can you make with C-H-A-E? And then the blue one, C-H-A-E-S, you can also make a word with that. Ooh. So there's two words there that we can make English words with. Let me know in the live chat what they are. And oh, um, Oscar has said uh, ache or chase. Yes. Oh, and um, Bertrand is Bertrand going? Is he? Okay. See you later, Bertrand. You got to go. Yeah, lunchtime. Yeah, we'll be finishing soon, but we're we're a little bit late today, so uh, we'll see you see you on Monday. Okay. Anyway, yes, uh, you could say ache or each for a the red one, and you can say chase, as Alpha has spelt it there, C-H-A-S-E, chase, that's the blue one. So well done, everyone. You're very good at this. Okay. Yeah, I'm, and uh, yeah, so Bertrand's uh, had to go. It's lunchtime. We're going to finish in about five minutes, so if you can hang on, we've got a few more questions. Hayden is still top, but it's very close with Sharon T right behind. Okay. Next question.
go which one makes an English word grob frob or fob Oh, it is the blue one. And uh, what English word can those letters make? T-H-O-B. And while, I, while I'm waiting for someone to tell us the word in the live chat, uh, interesting on the live chat. So uh, uh, Miss, Miss C used a, a great phrase uh, talking to Oscar, I think it was. She says, you nailed it. You nailed it. And he's saying, what, what does that mean? It's a great phrase. It means you did it. You got it. Perfect. Fantastic. Absolutely right. You nailed it. It's a very good expression, that. I like it. Now, so T-H-O-B, oh, yes, lots of you have got the answer. Look, it's all coming in both, B-O-T-H, both. All right, well done. Next question, let's just check the leaderboard. Hayden is, oh, it's getting very close. It's going to be a very close game. Just a few questions left. Wow, look at this. This is amazingly difficult. Who can nail it and get the right answer? Give you a clue. Ooh. Ooh. That was my clue. Yeah, actually, uh, some of you got the right answer. But what word is that? Ooh. Hopefully, my clue helps you there. Can anyone tell us what word is it? Oh, Isabel, well, you, Isabel has almost got the answer. She says ghost, but uh, there are actually two S's in that. It is ghosts. Ghosts. So, that was quite difficult, wasn't it? And, ooh, we have a, a movement at the top. Sharon has jumped into first place. Ooh, so close at the top. Next question. What's this one? You've got de de days, waste, or most. Huh? Tricky. Okay, just in the live chat, um, a few of you guys saying you uh, you ran out of time on the last question. Oh, sorry about that. But uh, oh, we have the answer. It's blue and uh, M O C E. You can move that those letters. And as we see in the live chat, yes, come C O M E. That's the answer. Right. Oh. Hayden's dropped to third place now. It's so close at the top. And uh, there we go. Next question, just a few left. We're on question 18 of 20.
So, our three choices are Crid, <laughs> Key, or Wake. So, which one is it? Do you know which one it is? Which one will be the correct answer? Mm. It is, of course, twen uh, C, and 24 of you got it right. Which, we can see W H I C H makes which. And Sharon is still top. Alpha is in second place now. Ooh. We are on question 19. <clears throat> oh, some lovely looking words here. Watusi, Porex, and Grinba. One of them can be turned into an English word. Oh, if you need help on this, uh, I think if you look in the live chat, uh, a couple of students have managed to get the right answer. Yes, the blue one, you can move it round and make the word bring. Bring, B-R-I-N-G. Okay, we are on to the last question. Our top five is Sharon, Alpha, Hayden, Owen and Abigail. Now, I think the fight, I think Sharon is going to win, but I think the fight is between Alpha and everyone else in this top five for the second place and everyone else for the third place. Who's going to do it? Last one. Here we go. Ooh, we've got... Uh, do run or Dorun, we've got Do Runda or Dorunda and Dorund. So red, yellow, or blue. Guys, if you, we're almost out of time, but uh, Katie can help you. Katie can help you, Katie so, because she has put the answer just at the last minute down there. Yes, it is round, R-O-U-N-D. Okay, guys, so round. Let's look at our top three. That was quite a tricky game. Third place, congratulations, Owen, 6B. Alpha, 1B, second place, but the winner, I think it's going to be, it is, yes, Sharon T. Okay, guys, well done. Now, uh, we are a little bit late finishing today. I know everyone must be hungry, ready for lunch, me too. Uh, but uh, just, before, uh, just before we go, uh, just to remind you guys that... Uh, the story that we were uh, reading earlier, Trapped Inside with the Rantorinos, that has been sent into our Google Classroom. 
and uh, yeah, you can see it's there. So you can try and see if you can finish it or escape from the story uh, over the weekend. Um, I'll just bring myself back in there. Yeah, there we go. So have a look at that. See, uh, see where it goes. OK. And um, if there's any uh, students or parents who uh, have any problems getting into our Google Classroom, uh, then please send us uh, an email to the school or uh, you can contact the school in any way uh, and let us know. Um, we had one or two uh, students saying that, that they couldn't uh, log in this morning, even though they're, they're actually already in the classroom. So do let me know if uh, you have any problems uh, getting into our Study English at Home classroom. And just to remind you all, to get in, you need this code, F2K5. N4, F2K, 5N4, that's the code to get yourself in, and uh, you need that code when you uh, sign into Google Classroom, to go into the internet, Google Classroom, up there in the internet browser, and then go to the plus sign here, and click on the plus, and join the class, and you type in that code that we just told you, F2K5N4, okay? That is how you get in, F2K5N4, that's it, and then you join, you click on that, okay? So, please do let me know, uh, send us an email if you have any problems with uh, getting into our Google English Classroom and enjoy getting trapped inside that silly Gran Torino story. Okay, guys, uh, let's finish. Let's all go and get some lunch. So I'll be back on Monday. So we'll see you all then for more fun and games in English. Hope you've had fun today. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your weekend. Keep washing your hands, putting on the mask, staying safe, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Turn that off.